Hey everyone, I hope your semester and your internships are going well. I wanted to put together this video to give you a sample and I guess an example of what I'm gonna be looking for um, with your, uh, your, your own video uh, summary for what you did in your internship, specifically regarding your project. So typically what we would do is we would uh, get our projects, print them out and have a poster gallery in the student union building where faculty and staff and students can walk around and you can uh, ask and answer questions uh, to be able to find out what you as well as your uh, classmates did for their internship. So because we're not able to do that due to COVID, um, we are gonna have you still turning your poster on Google Drive, but also have you put together a three to five minute synopsis video of your internship project uh, to sum up what you did. So what follows is an example of just that. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Bloom and I did my internship at Axiom Fitness, which is a local gym here in Boise, Idaho. So before I go into the details of my project that I did, um, you can click the link that's in the description of this video um, to a link of the poster that summarizes what the entire project is here and what I'll be going over in this video. So the internship supervisor that I had was Mike Hildebrandt. The project title uh, that, we, that we chose for this was using the functional movement screen as a way to detect and correct dysfunctions in personal training clients. So overall, what I did for this project was I um, screened a total of 25 different personal training clients who are currently, um, or, or who worked with a personal trainer over the course of my internship. And so my involvement was to to screen them, to screen each of them uh, during the first couple weeks of my internships as a pre-screen, and then to screen those screen those same individuals during the last second weeks um, as a post-screen to, to number one with the pre-screen, detect any movement dis dysfunctions as defined by receiving a score of one um, on a particular movement pattern. And then, on the, and then that information was also used uh, to customize the program for that particular client by prescribing them one to two, uh, possibly three corrective exercises for them to do two to three days a week for the duration of the project. And then the posting results uh, were used to see if in fact uh, any of those scores were able to change or improve. So the purpose of this project um, I, I kind of already covered it there, but it, it was really to see if the functional movement screen um, is a effective tool to be used as a standard um, intake uh, pr protocol in a gym. And so it, that kind of uh, was partly um, for also the project translation or, or, or what I see, how I see it benefiting me in my career path because I aspire to be a personal trainer as well as someday even open up my own uh, gym. So, um, so this project was a way to, to see if implementing the functional movement screen as a, as a standard protocol for new and existing clients would be a worthwhile thing. So um, <clears throat> the project timeline lasted essentially 10 weeks, like I said, with the first two weeks being the pre-screen, the second or uh, the last two weeks being the post-screen, and then the time in between uh, was when the clients did their exercises on top of their existing program that they already were doing with the personal trainer that they worked with. And so uh, this, this, what we, I guess, found as, as the results of, of this project were that the majority of clients uh, who performed the exercises uh, at least two to three days a week on top of their existing exercise program were able to um, correct or improve their dysfunctional patterns, um, which means moving them from a score of one to at least a two, if not a three, on their functional move, movement screen score uh, by the end of that time period. So specifically, we found 85% of people moved from a one to a two on either the trunk stability push-up or the active straight leg raise patterns. And so how this applied uh, the specific coursework from my degree was when I took kinesiology 432 um, strength or conditioning procedures, uh, we learned about the functional movement screen in, in one of those labs. And so this was a direct application uh, of that screening tool in a real life context and environment. And so uh, basically the summary of this, or the, the, the takeaway for me was that yes, this is definitely an effective and important tool, uh, not only for identifying um, movement dysfunction, but also as a way to customize and to um, uh, 
uh, help improve those dysfunctions in personal training clients. So that is a summary of my project. Uh, I really enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.